Hey, did you know that your imagination is probably one of the most powerful assets that you have. In fact, I read a book by Napoleon Hill where he said that your imagination is the most powerful, inconceivable, miraculous force that the world has ever known. Now, the biggest thing isn't that we have a lack of imagination. The biggest problem is that most people use their imagination to work against themselves. So how do they do that? They imagine things going wrong. They imagine themselves failing. They imagine themselves in bad health. They imagine themselves, you know, getting access to things that they don't want. They imagine everything that they shouldn't imagine. And guess what happens? Their imagination produces those things. Now, how about we start using our imagination the way God intended for us to use our imagination? To use our imagination in a positive way, to use your imagination to build your future, to use your imagination to actually impact your life and the world around you. It is possible to truly have the life that you desire if you are able to use your imagination the way it is supposed to be used. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Pamela Bassa, the founder of The Lucrative Lady. And today I'm taking a little bit of, of a spin, you know, off the normal stuff that I would share on this channel. And I really want to just dive in to the topic of the power of your imagination for two reasons. One, this has massively changed my life. And two, uh, a really good friend of mine sent me a book, uh, The Power of Imagination by Andrew Womack, which I have been studying. And it has been transforming the way that I look at things and the way that I use my imagination. So if you are a returning subscriber, I want to say a massive thank you for coming back. And if this is your first time watching at my channel, then welcome. It's good to have you. Do me a solid and do subscribe. Today I'm diving in on the power of your imagination and how you can use it to truly have anything. And I mean anything that you want. So when I first started reading The Power of Imagination by Andrew Womack, one of the first things that I noticed in the introduction was actually the difference between imagination and vision. I used to think that your imagination was the same as your vision, but what the book teaches and what I now believe and understand is that your imagination precedes your vision. That means that before you can have a vision, your imagination needs to have happened. You need to have imagined something, and then the vision is what is born out of the imagination right so at the end of the year in Q4 at the beginning of the year a lot of us a lot of people are creating vision boards where everything that you have on your vision board are things that you had imagined so if your imagination wasn't positive if your imagination was always negative and you always uh, imagined that bad things would happen to you and that you would never have the life that you wanted and all of these things you probably struggle with creating a vision board because your vision wouldn't make any sense now i recently created uh you know my vision boards and uh, you know as i was going through that i realized that i have been practicing you know how best to use my imagination without even realizing it so i go back to a few years ago when my husband and i got married and we wanted to buy our first home we didn't have the money to buy the home or rather we didn't have the money to buy the type of home that we wanted we were turned down you know by mortgage lenders like you know, pretty much every week. And we never thought that we would get on the property ladder for quite some time. One day we sat down and we wrote down on a piece of paper, we imagined what our life would be like. And so we started to write down on a piece of paper the type of home that we would like. We wrote down the number of bedrooms it would have, how big the garden would be, how many bathrooms it would have. And all of these are things we wrote down in detail. We looked at that piece of paper and we went ahead and put it on our wall and every single day we would look at that piece of paper and we would declare that we will have this property. One day we found a property that sort of fit with the imagination but it didn't look like the vision that we had created, what we had written down. The house was run down. That's what I mean. Now, it had everything we wanted. It had the number of bedrooms, the size of the garden. It had everything. But the imagination that we, what we had imagined was a pristine home of a specific size. What we saw in reality was not the pristine home that we wanted, but it had the right size and it was in the perfect location. We knew that we needed to buy that home. Fast forward, we eventually found a lender. They lent us the money for our mortgage. They gave us a mortgage. We purchased the home. And then we started to renovate that home to fit the imagination that we had put down. Now, if we had 
hadn't have imagined the type of home that we wanted, we would never have purchased that home, nor would we have uh, refurbished that home to look like the vision that we had created. The moment we bought that home, something else happened. We went back to our imagination because we knew that we had borrowed a little bit more than we could afford. You know, we had, you know, the lender was gracious to us, which was great. But the truth of the matter is that the interest of the mortgage was stupid high. It was crazy high for first time buyers as we were. So we went back to our imagination, went back to the drawing board. And I remember my husband and I having this conversation and making a decision that we wanted to be mortgage free within 10 years. This is unheard of, right? In our early 30s, we wanted to be mortgage free. Again, back to our imagination. We started to imagine what life would be if we didn't have this big boulder of debt on our necks, you know, you know, to pay out in mortgage every single month. And guess what happened? Nine years, exactly nine years and two months after we made that decision, we eventually paid off that home that we couldn't afford. This is the power of your imagination. I mentioned earlier that most people use their imagination to work against them, if they use their imagination at all. But I want to challenge you as you are watching this right now to understand that your imagination is such a powerful force. And if you can just think and envision a life beyond what your norm is, you have a really, really great chance of having that life simply because you went there in your imagination and you were sold out on what you had imagined. You believed that it was yours. Well, before we bought the house, we would drive to the road, my husband and I, every Sunday, would drive there, park there, walk around the neighborhood and just look at the properties look at the trees it, you know beautiful neighborhood we would look around and we would pray and we would call the house the number of the house and say you belong to us this is our home we are going to have this house we're going to purchase this home you know we looked at our neighbors our neighbors they weren't our neighbors then but they would be our neighbors homes we would look at our neighbors and we would declare you are the most wonderful neighbors we cannot wait to live next to you this was out of the result of our imagination with the power of your imagination you can have have anything that you want. So I want to give you a quick exercise that I want you to do today as a result of watching this video. I want you to walk around your home or your office, wherever you are right now as you are watching this, even in your car, walk around wherever you are right now. I want you to just notice things. If you're in your home, notice the bedrooms, notice the bed, notice the living room, notice the kitchen, notice the bathroom, notice whatever it is that you can see. Did you know that before you got to live in that home or if you're in your office before you got to walk into that office that whatever it is that you see it was first conceived in somebody else's imagination yes somebody had imagined that one day we ought to drive something that would be called a car and it would have four wheels somebody had imagined that one day human beings would be able to fly from country to country continent to continent in the air Somebody had imagined all of the things, all of the things that you enjoy today, it was as a result of somebody else's imagination from years and years and years ago. So I encourage you to understand that you can completely make your future, your reality, if you just hold on to building your imagination and if you understand the power that you have within you because of your imagination. So this is what successful people do. I know a lot of you who watch this are in business or wanna be in business, but this is what successful people do. We use the power of our imagination. We conceive in our minds first where it is we want to go. We conceive in our mind how much money we want to be making, how much impact we want to have, the life that we want to have. We conceive that first. A couple of years, uh, a couple of days ago, I was uh, on the phone with a friend and I was saying, oh, I'm really bored. And she said, why are you bored? I said, well, because, you know, I've got nothing to do. I'm like, I'm just... You know, I'm just I'm just getting a little bit bored. And she said, aren't you in the middle of a launch? And I said, yes, but you know, everything is going well. And you know, for the last 
few months, I haven't really had anything to do because my business is mostly automated and, you know, it does very, very well without me doing anything. And now I'm bored. And she said, Pam, you are living the life that 99% of people out there want to live. They want to be hands off in their business whilst their business is still making money. They want to have all the time in the world to spend with their kids. And the more she kept talking about it, the more I remembered that I had given birth to the reality that I have now in my imagination in my imagination. When I was struggling and hustling and really trying to figure out what part of the business, you know, what part of the industry I ought to go in, what I ought to do online. Do I go into coaching? Do I go into e-commerce? Do I, is this my ideal client? Or, you know, the, the times when I had failed launches and all of these things that were part of my journey. In my mind's eye, I always imagined that I would have a business that was completely automated. One day, it'll be completely automated. One day, it'll be doing six to seven figures per month. One day, I will have the life, I will be able to afford a Porsche if I want a Porsche. I will be able to travel anywhere that I want with my family and guess what? Today, that is the reality. It is because of the power of my imagination. Guess what? You have the same power. You have the same abilities. You have the same creative power, just like I do. And every successful person out there knows this one secret, the power of your imagination. So how do you use your imagination? You've got to be like a child. Children have the most amazing imagination. They can go anywhere in their mind. Now, of course, when they get to school, it is like, boom, you know, you're, you are daydreaming, you are being distracted. And I really wish that our school system would really support our children with building their imagination uh, a little bit further. You know, the daydreaming, the role playing that children do, you have got to become a child again. Remember when you were a child and you felt limitless? Do you remember that? Do you remember when you were a child and you felt untouchable? When you were a child and you felt that you could be anything you wanted to be? When, you, when I asked my children, what is it you want to do when you're older? They would give me all sorts of answers. Mommy, I want to be a footballer. Mommy, I want to be an astronaut. Mommy, I want to be this and I want to be that. They have zero limit. But the moment we get older, we place all of these limitations. In fact, what we do is we put ourselves in a box that says, I cannot do anything outside of this box. This is the box of society. This is the box of the color of your skin. This is the box of your accent. This is the box of your location. This is the box of, you know, uh, your upbringing. This is the box of the stories that you have told yourself. This is the box that you have uh, created in your mind and the box that you have found yourself in because you have grown up in a certain place. But what we do is we put ourselves in this box and it becomes very, very difficult to live anything outside of that box. But did you know that everything good that is waiting for you is waiting outside that box? The only way to get there is through your imagination. So you've got to become like a child again. Whatever it is that you are dreaming up, you know, in Q1 of next year or, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, with your business or with specific areas of your life, you've got to now use your imagination and challenge yourself to go beyond what, what you are capable of right? Beyond what you have ever known. One of my favorite books in, in the world, it says this, it says, I has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of man what God has in store for us. Now that is the type of imagination that you want to have. The type of imagination that knows no bounds. The type of imagination that just understands that whatever it is that you can perceive, it might take some time, right? Just like we dreamt of being mortgage free, but it took nine years, right? So it might take some time, but if you just hang on to that, it will happen. You see, we are gifted in a way that no other creature is gifted. We are God's best creation because of our imagination. But the problem is that only two to 3% of people actually use their imagination the way that it was created to be used. And it's almost inconceivable that uh, most people wander around with this massive creative power inside of them and just kill it by never even using it. And in fact, most people are just, you know, scathing through life, you know, waiting until they die and just, you know, just, just let me just make it till the end. You can have a life that is greater than that a life of purpose because of your imagination. And the crazy thing is that this creative power that I'm talking about, everybody has it. There's nobody that has more creative power than you. 
or me. I don't have more than you and you don't have more than me. We have an equal share of our creative power. The only difference is that some people are aware of that creative power, the power of their imagination, and therefore they use that consistently. Some people are aware of it and some people aren't. Speaking to a friend of mine uh, a few weeks ago, and you know, we, my husband and I were trying to buy a new car, and we've been trying to, and uh, we've been test driving lots of cars, different, you know, Mercedes. Are, you know, my husband loves Alfa Romeo, the Quadrifoglio, and you know, we, we went to that. Uh, we've, we've driven so many different Porsches. We've, we've driven some really, really nice car, Range Rovers, you name it. We've driven pretty much everything that there is. But for every car that we got into, I, I, I didn't have any peace. I didn't have any joy. There was no excitement. I mean, it was a nice car. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do love a Range. It's a very, very nice car, but it just wasn't for me. So I called my friend and I said, you know, I'm trying to buy this car, but I'm not feeling this car. You know, this other car that my husband really likes. I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. And he said, she said, Pam, of course you're not feeling it. You want the Porsche. And I said, oh my goodness, yes, I do. How do you know I want the Porsche? She said, because you have had the, a picture of a specific Porsche as your WhatsApp photo for the last year. I know you want the Porsche and there's nothing that will make you happy until you have that Porsche. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, not only have I been sitting here imagining myself driving my beautiful Porsche, but I also created a vision and put it out there. So therefore, because of that, no other car would satisfy. There would be nothing that my husband pulled out or the showroom pulled out. It is, I literally would sit with my husband and he would go, babe, look at this car. Do you like it? I go, yes, it's beautiful. Is it a push? No. Let's move forward. That's literally the conversation that we would have and we would both laugh about it, right? So we all have a creative power. You have the power to have whatever it is that it is that you desire. The problem is most people are unaware of that creative power and so therefore they never actually do anything with it. The power of your imagination. Your imagination is incredibly powerful. So let me ask you this. What do you want? Where do you want to live? How do you want to live? Build that picture in your mind. You have the power. Your imagination, that is its job to build that picture and to make that picture a reality. But you've got to go there first. You've got to imagine it first. There is great power flowing through you right now. Use it. The last thing I want to leave with you is this. A lot of you who watch this, you know, you might be thinking, but Pam, you know, I'm going through this and that in my, in my life. Perhaps you have a health issue. Perhaps, you know, you're depressed. Perhaps your business isn't going very well. Perhaps you have a lot of things going on in your personal life, in your marriage, or, you know, in every area of your life. That's okay. And I'm not discounting that. But what I want to challenge you to do today is that in spite of the health issues, build your imagination and see yourself healthy. Healthy. See yourself achieving your dreams. See yourself conquering, climbing mountains or whatever it is that you desire to do, right? In spite of the depression that you might be going at today, see yourself joyful. See yourself achieving your dreams. See yourself doing greater things. See yourself full of mind and having that peace of mind. Use the power of your imagination. Or perhaps you might say, but Pam, it's about my business. My business isn't going, you know, as well as I would like it to, to do. And I've been doing this for a couple of years and I feel like quitting. That's okay. Use your imagination. See yourself having a successful business. See yourself being the CEO of a multi-billion pound uh, company. See yourself having dozens or even hundreds of, of staff, team members working for you and with you. See yourself bringing in that seven figures every single month. See it. Use the power of your imagination. Whatever it is that is holding you back today, I understand that it is very real today, but I promise you that your body is just an empty vessel. When people look at you, they see your body. One thing that they cannot see is your imagination, and that is why that is the most precious part of your soul that you have got to really, really protect and use to your advantage. Now, if you want a life that is beyond the norm, a life that is incredible, a life that is amazing, I can promise you that it is all down to the power of your imagination. This is what rich people know, and rich people do all the time. So if that is something that you desire, you've got to start working your imagination.
I want you to leave a comment below and let me know what impact has watching this had for you. What are you like with your imagination? Are you the kind of person that sees, you know, things in the future? Are you the kind of person that focuses on that? Or are you the kind of person like I was? So there's no shame in it. I used to be that person who would think and see negative things and, and dwell on those things. Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to reading them and I will be responding to every single one of them. One more thing I want you to comment below. I'm really, really considering doing an entire series, yes, all about your imagination and how powerful it is and the law of attraction and all of these other things. Let me know if this is something that you would like me to do. I want to know if it's not something that you guys are interested in on this channel, then I won't do it. But if you say yes, then I really have a lot in me that I want to get out. Uh, so let me know in the comments and just say, Pam, do the series. I'm interested in, in hearing what you have to say. I'm very, very excited. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell if you want more of this type of content. Make sure you check out this playlist uh, before you leave. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.